right, for last night's video, apologize if anybody is butt hurt or upset about the political or commentary type videos, whatever. Uh, sometimes I feel like I need to say stuff, but because I'm not a fucking quitter, I found on Craigslist the only place in the entirety of Colorado Springs that is open on Sundays and can do a bottle fill for welders. So we're back in business, bitches. So let's get back to welding. <coughs> so here's where we left off. Not sure if I'm liking the angle and the width. It seems kind of big. So I may do some adjusting today. I don't really want to cut this thing back off just to redo it but i have to have enough clearance for the tire to move up and down and still make everything fit so i'm not real sure how i'm going to go about it but i'm going to finish up this side before i start on the other side that way there's not any discrepancies i need to pull the hard top so that i can weld in this fill piece here without burning up my top and then i still need to make a fill hole and a little triangle to fill that in then i can get to work on the front I'm not real sure again how i'm going to make this fit because it has like a subtle curve to it and it's kind of hard to translate to paper or to metal. I don't know, I may have to get artistic with it, come up with some way of doing it, but I intend to get this finished today. I really don't feel like dicking with it any longer, but I don't want to rush it and it not look good. So that's kind of the epidemic of where I'm at, of just making this look right without being too wide, etc. So gonna be kind of hard to film. I'm working by myself today. So I'm gonna just kind of touch base as I do each step. I'll show on the video where I'm at and how I got that to that point hopefully it translates through in video I just really want this finished I've been working on it for way too long now and I don't want to rush it and make it look sloppy either so I don't know we'll see how it looks so if anybody ever asks you what's the difference between art and science you can tell them I said this science is thinking about it a million times and then testing it once art is thinking about it once and testing it a million times I didn't like the way this side was turning out at all it was way too wide so I cut it off luckily doing small tacks and having another backup fender to replace the one already cut up allows me to do that but now what we have is this here is what I'm probably gonna end up going for I'm definitely gonna have to flare these fenders to clear the tires but I think I like that idea better anyway no rear bumper light that's pretty cool looking so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that but so far I'm liking it I got the surround for the tank fill graph it in i like this gap a lot better the door actually opens a lot smoother i just need to pull this in a little tighter and make my strip here to fill that in and that'll be done it is sitting on the tire right now but i am going to bow this out like a fender roller kind of so it has a lip fender flare so that one i'd like the way that's tacked on now i like how i don't have to cut the rear i like that it's not it's coming more straight out it's not coming up at an angle like a fin so i'm going to do the other side like this i still have the front fenders to do but they're not nearly as hard as this is going to be so once i get this finished up i can do the other side and then be done with it but it's definitely a trial and error the rusty slammington that i'm kind of taking the idea from uh, of tacking on another set of fenders over it's way boxier and square so they literally just slid the fender out and tacked it on it was a lot easier to do this i'm having to do a lot of like bending and tweaking and pulling and shaping the metal to get it to sit the way that i want which is fine i knew that was going to kind of happen because this is a curvier car but I'm definitely liking the way it's looking so far. I just need to get everything finalized on this fender, all the patch panels put into place, and then I can mock it up on the other side to copy it, and then I'll do all the finish welding. I'm not trying to finish weld it all in and then have to cut it to change something, but so far so good. I'll probably put in a couple little support straps to keep it from moving in the wind, but I'm liking the way it's coming out. It's definitely going to have that GTA 5 kind of wide body banshee look to it. So I'm going to take a break. I might do some more tonight. Not real sure i'm just super exhausted it's been a long day i've got all day tomorrow to work on this thing and then tuesday i have stuff i have to do so i need my car finished by then so if nothing else i can finish the rears and have them completely tacked out and finished and then ride around with no front fenders for a while until i get everything the way i want it on those so i'm not really stressed about it but i do want to get the rear finished tomorrow so i'm going to kind of pace myself now that i've got gas and i've got wire a lot of extra spool of wire in case i run out because i'm getting kind of low but looking at part five i know it's taken forever guys i apologize i'm not showing more of the process it's just being here by myself and i've got people coming to buy parts constantly i made 220 dollars today off of 
fenders and bumpers so i can't be too mad while i'm dicking around on this i'm making a couple of hundred dollars in a day so things could be a lot worse so be sure to like if you like subscribe if you want and as always guys keep on modding